Hallo miteinander, I'm Geschehdy6 and this is Clarence's big chance. Last time we've arrived safely at our workplace, but now we're going to have to find a way to overcome corporate oppression. Oh, and our name is indeed Lardbottom. Good name. The special thing about level 3 is that you collect golden sheets of paper, which will give you work tasks to complete. By doing that, you can move up in the hierarchy of the business. Now, that little hottie at the counter has told us that there's a task at our workstation for us. So, let's see. What the? Come on! First limbo, now we've landed in the Matrix, or whatever this is. I think it was called Shadowmancer. Uh, guys, I really don't like this, so screw it. We're just going to go to our boss and demand to be put in a different position because, come on, who wants to stay in a cyberpunk nightmare? Now I know a lot of people have trouble talking to their bosses. They're scared to go all out and tell them what they really want, but let me tell you, I know how to deal with superiors. We're going to go in there, we're gonna demand more money, better workplace and less work overall, and we're gonna get it. In corporate world, you've got to have pride. If you take any dirty job, people are just gonna trample all over you and use you. Okay, so here's our boss. Well, he looks like an eloquent fellow. I'm sure he'll understand our situation. Mister, we want to be your executive and there's nothing you can do about it, so give us the big bucks right now. Um, wait, 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 wait. Fired? Well, um, that didn't happen in my test run, but there are worse things in life. On to the next level. That next level happens to be another trek through the town, but at night this time. Man, I still can't believe that we've been laid off from work. As unfortunate as that may be, it doesn't matter overall, because we don't have to tell our lady friend that we're unemployed. I'm pretty sure Clarence will keep his mouth shut, and as long as we don't tell her how she's supposed to know. We can just tell her that we're an executive, and even if it may be a small lie, we'll always have time to make that little lie a whole truth. This is actually the last level of the game, um, and as expected it is not an easy level to complete. You have to find five keys first to free up your car, and only with that can you destroy a few blocks that keep you from entering the restaurant. The restaurant is where Clarence will meet his girl and have a nice dinner with her. On top of being hard to navigate through, um, the level itself is a lot more murderous than the first town area. As you can see we've got spike pits, we've got crooks everywhere, and we also have disappearing blocks that you can't stay on very long. It is really a bad district that we're going through here, and I can once again identify with the game because I grew up in a very bad district. I remember people putting spike pits everywhere just like here. I lost one of my best homies to one of those. It wasn't pretty. On a different day, a rival gangster had constructed a locked door in front of my house. It took me almost three hours to find that hidden key. So this game is really giving you a, an accurate representation of street life. But enough about my grim past. Um, apart from the five keys that you have to collect, you can also find three different shops in the area. Um, in those you can use money to buy certain gifts for your lady friend. But as I said before, they are no use because what is she going to do with plushies and flowers? When you want to have a woman in your favor, you should give her practical gifts that she can identify with. Like a cooking pot. Until now, I haven't talked about the new enemy type in this area. Um, you've seen them before, the little masked burglars um, that carry around these sacks. One is right up there. These are actually the only enemies in the game that can pick up coins then you can't get them anymore. Um, however, as I've told you before, this doesn't affect us because money only corrupts. If you always pick up money, you will just end up like them. Do you want that? Of course you don't. 
You know, in that ideal world that I've been talking about, no one would have money. Um, therefore, everyone would be good, and there would be no crimes at all. I really gotta write that book. It's sure to make me rich. I've gotta say, when I see Clarence jumping around like that, I really admire him. The way he stomps his enemies, I wish I could do that. Whenever I've tried in the past, it only ended up in lawsuits. It wasn't funny. But yeah, Clarence really is my hero. All these other guys like Master Chief, Chris Redfield, Salt Snake, they're just crybabies compared to the big C. Oh now this is pretty much the trickiest area in the game. Um, traversing these blocks is not easy because of their relatively loose controls. You're probably going to take two or three tries before you get the hang of it. But then you'll make it. You could go further up, but um, there's only a shop there, and as I've told you, we're not going to those. Alright, this makes four keys overall. We only have to get one more. Finding every single key may take you a while, but don't worry, I've come into this well prepared. I know this level like the back of my hand. Wasn't very hard to learn with my photographic memory. Because if you start a let's play, you've gotta do well, I mean, why would you wanna watch someone who's not playing perfectly? Dying on screen is just a big waste of your time, and why would I want to do that? All the deaths in this series, by the way, were strategic so far. They actually saved us time. Alright, so now we've got all the five keys that we needed. Our car even happens to be quite nearby. That is very lucky. See, there's the five doors that I talked about. Man, what kind of joker would put our car behind five locked doors? Oh, I know. It must have been one of our many jealous rivals that want to keep us from our love. Yes, no doubt about it. We really do live in a sad and rotten world. Everyone is envious of one another. We should really have respect and share the happiness of others. Except for my neighbor Fritz. That asshole really didn't deserve to win the lottery. Alright, let's take a break here. I'm Gash86, this was Clarence's big chance. And next time, better pack your spring clothes. It's gonna be a hot and romantic evening. Bis bald!